Hello everyone and welcome to our continued playthrough of Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster. This is part 11. So we are coming down to the end of the game here. We got through the Giant of Babel, freed Golbez from his spell that was cast on him by Zemus. Kane is back in the party for the final time and we are ready to wrap up this adventure. So before we go back to the moon and confront Zemus, there are a couple things that we need to do while on Earth. Most notably, the last thing I want to do is get one of the stronger summon spells for Ryda. And we have to do that, we have to go back to Baron Castle. So let's go ahead here and hop in the blue whale, lunar whale. We're not going to go to the moon. We're just going to lift off the ground. Here, let's head to the northwest. Back to Baron Castle. So we want to go inside the castle and go down into the basement to get the Odin summon. So I'll show you how to do that now. <clears throat> castle Baron. Everything is back to normal. So what you want to do is go this way. Come down and go up into the right tower. This is opposite of Cecil's bedroom. It said don't go upstairs. You want to go down into the basement. Now, if you remember, we were here before and a mysterious force blocked us. But this time, we should be able to pass through. And we come across a throne. King of Baron. Ah, uh, this better not be the Lord of the Water again. So the King of Baron is now a eternal being. The summoner that follows you. So we have to fight the King of Baron, but in reality, this is Odin. So what you want to do here is attack him constantly. When he raises his sword, you need to cast uh, thunder on him to put his, make him put his sword down. If he casts, keeps his sword up too long, he'll kill your whole party. So you can do that by using uh, Blitz or any of Rida's uh, thunder spells. We'll see if we can beat him here before he does that. Let's do Blitz. So that should cause him to put his sword down. Or we beat him. But he if you didn't beat him, he would have put his sword down. And we get 12,000 experience for that. Right, I got up a level. Nice. Right, I has learned Odin. So there is one more summon to get in this game, that is Bahamut. So we are going to go do that now. To get the Bahamut summoned, we have to go back to the moon. So at this point, I have basically completed everything I needed to on Earth, and we're ready to head to the moon for the last and final time. Let's go ahead here and exit Castle Baron. And we are ready to head up to the moon and meet Bahamut. So let's go ahead here into the Lunar Whale. Let's go ahead and sleep. Yes. Rest up here, get our energy back from that fight with Odin. Not that we lost much, but still always good to ensure we are healed. So let's activate the crystal. Crystal will take us to the moon. All right. So we are on the moon. So now 
what we are looking for should be somewhere around here. Here it is. So we want to go ahead and land. Oh, wait. I got to land somewhere. There we go. So we are in the southeast corner of the moon, but it's just a map. It's a circle, obviously. So just keep flying around. So let's go ahead here and save before we confront Bahamut. Cave of Bahamut. So we're going to work our way through this cave here. As usual, fight as we go. cave of Bahamut is not very big and it's mostly a linear path so let's go ahead here and collect this treasure chest Genji shield defense goes up magic defense goes down all right let's see what it does for oh Kane already has one all right so we'll take the we'll take the defensive increase there. Just concentrate physical attacks. So I'm going to come back here. I think there's a treasure chest down here. There is. Giant warrior. As you can see, the guys in this cave are pretty easy. There's a couple of hard ones, uh, which we'll deal with. Genji Gloves. Decent. Oh, good. So that took our defense back up. Can Cecil take... Or Kane take the... Yeah, no, he's already got him. Cool. actually want to change my order here a little bit. Let's bring Ryda here. There we go. Bring Cecil to the front, Kane to the front, Edge to the front, Ryda and Rosa in the back. Alright, so continuing on here. Do a quick heal. Let's 
All right. Old dragons. These guys pack a little bit of a punch. So we're gonna up our... I don't, we might book it from this fight. There we go. All right, let's go over here. Who's this dude? Genji Helm. All right, before we talk to whoever this guy is, let's go up here, get this treasure chest. This guy looks dead, so Kirjaga should work nicely on him. There we go. Always remember, the undead cast cure spells on them. Genji armor. Nice. All right. See what this guy is all about here. Behemoth. Okay. You got another fight here. So Cecil attack. Summon Leviathan. Rosa, just keep curing the party. Bring our boy Kane back to life. Oh, sir, I already did. All right, oops. on there. There we go. So that guy packs a good punch. Not overly difficult. Gives 40,000 experience. Which is awesome. Alright. Let's go ahead here. And do some Kirin. Ah, we got another one. All right. Let's attack. Let's jump. Let's see what this guy's weak against here. No effect. I will find out the hard way. Not fire.
shit right here. up to Kane to win this fight. There we go. Nice. Good job, Kane. Alright. Fortunately, we've got a lot of Phoenix Downs. So let's... So we actually don't have any ethers in our mix here, do we? We don't. All right. You know what that means? Emergency exit. But we took care of those two behemoths. So what we can do now is throw down a cottage. And then we can just go back in. All right, let's make sure everybody's fully refreshed. Save. All right. So those behemoths pack quite a punch, as you saw. But we took care of them pretty quick. So we can now re-navigate our way through the cave. Cave of Bahamana, basement two. Bouncing from this guy, learned that lesson the last round. So as you can see, the behemoth is gone. So is this one. Leviathan should take care of most of these guys. Ouch. There we go. Right, I learned Quake. As we can see there, so let's cure up. All right, so where are another behemoth? Okay, okay.
see if Quake works on this guy. He's just strong against all magic, basically. We're doing pretty good, though. There we go. All right. God of Summons, you may have won Leviathan over it, but that proves nothing. Bahamut. All right. So Bahamut is actually pretty easy. He counts down. So what you want to do is focus, physical attacks, have Rosa cast Reflect on your primary party members who are super strong. Ride a cast Leviathan. You want to get Reflect on at least two, three party members, if possible. Mainly the ones you want to survive, because the Mega Flare is super strong. Here it comes. His spells are reflected back at him. So now, just keep wailing on him. Gonna bring back Rosa. Just to get her to cast Reflect on her. Pending this guy doesn't die first. Because I want Rosa to survive the fight to get the experience. Here comes Mega Flare, round two. This guy's going to have a rough time. He probably won't survive this round. There we go. We have beat Bahamut in Final Fantasy IV, Pixel Remaster. So again, don't have the expectation that everyone will survive this fight. Just let the people that you want to survive cast Reflect on them. Rose is up a level. We now know Bahamut, so we have learned all the summons in Final Fantasy IV, Pixel Remaster, and we are ready to start the last mission. So let's go ahead here and use an emergency exit because they become useless at this point in the game. And let's go ahead here and cure uh, items, Phoenix Downs. We'll use a bunch of potions. All right, 
so before we head over to the last mission, let's go pay a visit to Hummingway. So what we want to do to get to Hummingway is come right here. You can land here. Coming way home. We are the Hummingways. You can change your name here. People built a ship and traveled to the blue planet. He was adept at naming things. So not much to do here, but it's just something to know about. All right, back inside the Lunar Whale. Let's sleep. Let's pay a visit to... The Chocobo, nothing to give him. All right, so we are ready to start the final mission here. So back up to the Crystal Palace. That's where we have to get again. So to do that, we're going to land right here. We'll go outside. Save our game. And we are ready to get this started. All right, so let's get it going. So you want to make sure you are ready to do this. Be at at least level 50. And here's why. It takes a couple of turns to get through the lunar subterrain to get to Zemus, the final boss. And the reason I say that is because there is a wealth of treasure chests inside the lunar subterrain that you want to get. So we'll get them depending on how well it does. Sometimes we have to warp back outside. So I would recommend your party be on at least level 50 across the board, which we are-ish for the most part. So I'm okay with the levels that we're at right now. Because by the time we get to Zemus, we should be at teeter and close to level 55, 60. The suggested limit uh, that you want to be at to beat the game is at least level 55, is my personal opinion. guy attacks every turn. There we go. When you're on the moon, just fight every single fight. Like I said, the more levels you get up, the easier the end of the game is. These guys are mostly spells, only really work on Leviathan should take care of most of them. There we go. Eastern Lunar Path. So we, we took this way before to meet Fusoya. You know what I always wondered, like, Fuso Yankoba is one off alone. If they had worked together, a 
party of seven, but could have crushed Zemus, but what do I know? Right? I'm thinking, I'm thinking too hard. All right. So here is a good spot to throw down a tent. We have 91 tents and like 20 some cottages. And we will save our adventure. Okay, so that is it for this part of our playthrough of Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster. In the next part, we're going to venture down into the lunar subterrane and take on Zemus and complete this amazing game. In this part, we navigated from the Earth back down to the Earth, picked up Odin the Summon beneath Baron Castle, came back to the moon, met Bahamut, got him as a summon, visited Hummingway, bought some items, and now we are ready to take on the final part of this amazing game. As always, if you could click that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, we're going to have new and exciting content and the last part of our playthrough of Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster coming soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. I will see you around. And as always, keep on gaming.